All right, let's talk art and lifestyle. Adam's here. Yeah, and starting things off uh, with a, a piece of art bought in Vancouver for less than $100 is about to be sold for much, much more than that. The painting that was spotted lying on the ground was created by a member of the Group of Seven. He brought them in in a shopping bag. He had purchased them at a yard sale. Yeah, the small oil was painted by Tom Thompson and depicts Ontario's Algonquin Park. The owner didn't know that it was a valuable item until Maynard's Auction House took it to experts for analysis. At this point, we do have a consensus from the Tom Thompson experts that have seen the painting, and they do believe it is indeed a Tom Thompson. And actually, they've even dated it. They believe that based on the palette and handling, that it's most likely to have been done during spring 1915. The painting goes up for bids May 16th, and it's expected to sell for more than $170,000. Well, creative writing students at the University of Victoria are inviting you to see words come to life. The eighth annual Sunscreen Film Festival is a chance to see the work of emerging movie makers. So this is Stuck by UVix Connor Gaston. It's one of 14 shorts set to be screened. There will also be animation, conceptual work, and narrative movies. A lot of the work comes out of either visual arts, so it's got a really inter interesting conceptual bend, or through the Department of Writing, so the scripts are really strong. I think a festival really focuses student energy and public attention as well on the work that's here. It celebrates the work, it gives the students a goal, so I, I'm always for realizing that, you know, this there isn't this sort of separation between school and the real world, like this is the real world, so make the work, get it out there. The Sunscreen Student Film Festival is tonight at UVic's David Lamb Auditorium. Ten prizes will uh, be handed out tonight, ranging from best screenplay to best auditory experience. And you can find full details at fineartsuvicca slash events. And finally tonight, uh, if you haven't decided what you're having for dinner yet, you may want to make something both crunchy and gooey. Because today is National Grilled Cheese Sandwich Day. And as you're about to see, it's a food oozing with possibilities. Diana Doiser cherishes cheese. I think it's time now. I think, you know, it's time to share it with the world. She's the one who took a bite out of a grilled cheese sandwich, saw the Virgin Mary staring back at her, and saved it in a plastic bag for 10 years before selling it online. Put her on eBay, and we didn't think she was going to, you know, do anything, and all of a sudden it just went crazy. It sold for $28,000 to an online casino. This certainly is the, is the crown jewel in our collection. When it's not a prize possessed, the grilled cheese sandwich is something savory to surmount. Oh my goodness. Ed Jarvis ate 19 of them in 10 minutes, while competitive consumer Kobayashi devoured 13 in 60 seconds. When they're not being eaten fast, they're being served high and wide. The latest fad among restaurants appears to be stuffing one high-calorie ingredient into another. And you'll find this in Bellevue, Washington. Two cheddar and Swiss grilled cheese sandwiches containing a hamburger patty, tempura fried bacon, and onion rings. If you're hoping for a more sophisticated way to celebrate this savory day, Clive's Classic Lounge serves a grilled cheese and tomato soup martini. We were just fooling around and like, you know what, let's, I feel like grilled cheese is like in rum. I think we can do this. So Sean Sewell made a sandwich, shoved it in a mason jar, and let it sit in rum overnight. It's just basically the fat congeals um, and actually infuses into the spirit. After adding roasted tomatoes, basil, vermouth, bitters, smoky whiskey, it became a concoction known as the Cold Night Inn. Taking you back to the childhood when it was like cold and you came inside, your mum had made you a grilled cheese sandwich and a nice bowl of hot tomato soup. That's what you want to sort of reminisce about. Diana Doiser won't have to look far to remember her Virgin Mary grilled cheese sandwich. She's tattooed the image on her chest. We all believe in certain things, okay? And this is what I believe in and this is what I want near and close to my heart. Whether you find it comforting, competitive or coronary clogging, Today's the day to celebrate the possibilities of bread, butter, and cheese grilled. Mm. That's entertainment. That's comfort food. <laughs> I knew you would yeah. like that. John's Place does a good one. Do they? Yeah. Reminds me of being a kid. I'd walk home from school in Calgary on those winter days, and my mom would make grilled cheese sandwiches with tomato soup. Oh, What nice. a combination. Nothing like that thing, though. Apparently, it, it dates back to the Romans. They were the first to kind of have cheese and cheese. bread together. Yeah. Love it. Sparky, thank you. Okay.